We are back in the wonderful world of Hygieneer. The game is coming out very, very soon. It might actually already be out by the time this video is live. I hope you check it out. I think it's a very, very fun experience. And if you like what you see, I think you will probably enjoy the game. And it's also fairly cheap. It's going to be 8 bucks for the release window, which is like, you know, it's, it's a really, really good price. So there has been a few updates in the meantime. Some uh, tiny updates, mostly quality of life changes. For example, if you go over here, I had a lot of trouble with these bad boys um, merging together. And the developer was kind enough to fix it. I'm not sure if he watched my videos and saw me complain. Or if he just realized, you know what, this makes sense. He probably like just realized, hey, this makes sense. If we break these bad boys down, they no longer explode as much. They just get nicely and neatly reorganized. Also, if you have this turned on if i can find my key button which is not i always forget man always for i think they also like might reset whenever i load in the game because i don't remember turning this bad boy on there we go stuff's happening oh no you know what i remember now i changed some things around right 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 change some things around which is perfectly fine so new change is basically this if you put if you have something on the conveyor belt and if we have another one of these on the conveyor belt they they cannot combine anymore that is, that is the key. They can no longer combine on conveyor belts, which is awesome. There also is a new item that basically breaks things apart. And I'm, you know, very excited to try that. Although it probably won't be that necessary if these things don't combine on belts ever. And that's a great change. Because that is, you know, that's a complaint I've had for quite a bit. And I'm glad it's no longer the case. The funnels are also a little bit different. They are a little bit bigger and things are get in them more easily this is so amazing oh i love this so much dude it's they were producing so much stuff i'm so happy it does cause frame drips fra frame dips still which is super annoying i'm not really sure why like sometimes they happen sometimes they don't it is a little bit weird but uh you know we, we're gonna manage we're gonna, I, I think what we should actually do i think the problem one of the main problems is i haven't actually like uh started a new game yet the thing is, there have been a lot of updates. Again, this is not a finished build. This is a work in progress build. And the developer recommended, hey, you should, you know, start a new save because things might get borked. And, you know, he's right. Things are getting borked. Beautiful. Get in there, dude. Oh, amazing. Get sliced, son. Again, they, 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 I guess they don't count on the conveyor belt on the funnel, huh? So they can still combine there. That's okay, though. It doesn't really matter that much. Things are falling in quite nicely. I like it. So what I'm gonna do is I, I want to get rid of all this stupid dirt because there's a lot of dirt everywhere. Also, this is gonna be a lot easier to break apart now, right? Yeah, because it just like falls back where I want it to fall back. Beautiful. Okay, that's much much better. So what I want to do now is I just want to keep this bad boy running for a bit. I want to demolish like all the. I want to put all the dirt pits basically back online, clean everything up a little bit, and then you know go make some stuff, sell some gold. And I do still want to mine out that big area, so I'm gonna go and buy a truck. And I'm gonna do some trucking. So I think I cleared out most of the soil bits around here. That is beautiful. My next step is gonna be to actually smelt these into something proper. Oh my god, we don't we really don't have that many gems. We also gotta buy the gem grinder. That is an item that we don't have at the moment, and definitely wanna fix that. Also, we have a lot of supply of shards. Not only shall we doing shard wise, it doesn't really matter too much. We're gonna make probably the most massive bars we've ever seen. Oh my god, there's so many. Like this thing. This is worth so much money. You have no idea. I can barely move, dude. Please get dropped, son. Oh my gosh. That's gonna get turned into one mega massive bar. This is... This is... Stuff from like... I don't know. Two hours, I'd say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a long time. I don't actually just use this. Let's use power anymore. We could just like get this bad boy. There we go. That's much better, my dude. We're gonna smelt these into actual bars. I'm gonna smelt these into actual things. I do have gems. I do have... Those are some massive gems, dude. This is gem from before the update uh, that added gem grinding, actually. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure there's no gold over here. Make sure there's nothing below as well. Again, things can sometimes get stuck below, which is not great. Oh, no. Okay, we can, we can still get it. It's okay. For a second there, I thought we couldn't actually get anything below. I think we are fine here as well. Seems to be okie dokes. I don't see anything that's buried underneath. I don't see any buried treasure. That is good because it's not actually treasure. It would be... A horrifying situation. We want to buy more of these bad boys, actually. Like that, I want. Actually, that's one of the things I'm gonna actually do if I when I go back to town. 
is get more of these. That's the, not the most urgent thing in the world. But it is, I think, I want to do. And also, I've got to reinforce all these four tiles. It's okay, we'll get there. It's a beautiful gold bar, my dude. Oh, we don't want to melt the gold bar. We want to heat it up, but we don't want to melt it into iron. That would be a disaster. So we'll just heat them up together again. I kind of want to buy two or three more of these bad boys. Keep everything in check. And we will need a gem of some kind, right? We're gonna, need, we're gonna take the biggest gem that we own. This big old red ruby. Whatever it actually is. And we're gonna go make something that's gonna make us a ton of money. Alright, let's see. This is gonna be one massive ring. That's what I'm looking for. Why? I, I, I'm, I'm stuck. Please let me out, game. Thank you. Appreciate it. My hammer is over here, right? I kind of want to move this, maybe. Also, like, I want to fix the floorings up. Like, I dug them up so much. It's no wonder they are kind of a mess right now. And we should have this bad boy running as well. Make sure we have you heated up. You, you, can, you can flip up for now, you know? Doesn't matter. Once we get a couple more of you, we'll hammer you in place wherever we want you. Heat this bad boy up. Gonna heat you up. Gonna hammer you up. No worries. We will need the hammer here in a second. And, like, this ring, we're gonna sell it for a load of money, hopefully. I, maybe we wanna walk to town, actually. I think what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna walk to town with this ring and sell it. Because, uh, although I do wanna take my cars to make my life easier, I wanna buy the big mining vehicle. And I wanna come back with that. So I'm gonna just, like, carry this to town and sell it on at the auction. And, you know, we're gonna buy a big old new car. And we are gonna... Go hopefully mine a massive area. I'm not really sure how hard it is to mine a massive area with that vehicle, but we will figure it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. How much money we are getting? The stocks for rings are up. I love it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say twenty-seven thousand. You know what? I think that's maybe a bit too optimistic, but there's a lot of gold spent on this, and I think that might be reasonable. Okay, okay, you know, that's still an incredibly massive amount of money. It's still so much cash. It's not 27. You know, I'll get to a $27,000, uh, I guess, hydro coin necklace or ring soon. I'll get there one day. Again, you know what? If it were a uh, necklace, it would have sold for 27000 probably. Well, for 24. This would be worth twice as much because we actually used two gold bars. That's okay. It's no problem. Don't melt your money, my dude. You only have about 400 bucks from before, so, you know, we definitely want to grab this. How much is a tool bag? I want to buy a bunch of these. The question is, can I store can I store items on the other truck? I actually am not sure. Maybe I made a horrible mistake by doing this. But it's okay, because like, I don't really want to turn those bad boys on anyways in time, so we're going to buy a bunch of these. We, we need those tool bags, you know? Like, we, I, if I could just, like, pay all this money to have these delivered to me... At like five times the price, I would do it. Beautiful. All right, that's more than worth it. And let's go pick up the other, the digging truck. That's the thing that's been in the game like since day one, and I haven't actually tested it out yet. So massive. Hello there, beautiful. I mean, we can buy ten of these. Oh my gosh, we did it. Oh, that's the only one we can buy, it seems. Okay, disappeared. I guess he, this disappeared. I guess they respawn after a while, because we already have a... Of these bad boys. Oh my gosh. It's so big, dude. It's so big. And I think we can't actually carry things with it. It's... Oh my god. The problem is... Okay, uh... You know what? Un recall vehicle. Thank you. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get out. Hold left mouse to move arms. Right mouse to dig dirt. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Hold E to unload dirt. Don't have any, so, you know, we can't really do it. Um, so I'm gonna assume... This thing is so slow, my dude. It's so hard to turn. I'm trying to turn here, but I'm struggling. I maybe don't want to go backwards. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we're actually loading up some items on it. I'm not sure if we can actually carry stuff in it. But if we can, that's gonna make our life a lot easier. Because we won't have to make two journeys. It doesn't really matter that much, but, you know, I do want to give it a go nonetheless. You know what? I can't even really climb it. <laughs> so we're gonna leave our stuff over here for now. We're gonna run all the way back home. We're gonna use this excavator to excavate so much stuff. You have no idea. I'm gonna hit the wall here, aren't I? Oh, it's 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 so slow to turn, dude. Oh, we can make it though. All right. Making progress. I think like going backwards. I think it makes total sense. I don't think anyone can complain about me going backwards here. We're so fast, dude. We should probably start breaking, like, right up. Actually, let's Tokyo Drift. 
Amazing, dude. Amazing. All right. Dig dirt. How do we actually do that? I want to dig from the corner. That's what I want to do. I want to like dig out this entire corner bit. I mean, if you do this... Is it mining? Oh, it is! Oh my gosh, it's... It's so good. <laughs> I love it! The problem is, we actually get loaded up with dirt. Hold E to unload dirt. Oh no! It actually unloads it for real, dude! That sucks! I actually don't like that. I actually don't like that because that means we're getting new dirt blocks. And I, I don't wanna- I just wanna destroy it. I, I just wanna destroy- I don't wanna ha I don't wanna get the dirt back. I just wanna destroy the dirt completely. Oh, that's not ideal, dude. I guess we could- I mean, it's, it's gonna take so much work. It's gonna take us like a lot more to unload than it takes us to mine. And that's kind of annoying. Is there like a way to destroy these? I'm trying to think, is there a way to destroy these and, uh, you know, maybe we could, I don't think we can chop them down into little bits and pieces. Maybe we can shovel them with the shovel. But if you can't do that, I might just have to resort to the pickaxe. I, I, I mean, because th these, I, these, they don't get unloaded and the more of them, we can't just like have a bunch of them on a pile, right? The more of them we have. No, we can't actually do this. That's a, that's not great, dude. I'm not a fan. I'm actually not a fan of that. I wish there was a way to just destroy all the dirt, because we... Or, or at least like unload it in as one big pile, as one big chunk, that would be okay. Problem is, by unloading it into like a bunch of these little piles here... First of all, they have a cap when they can combine, right? Yeah. They can't be like bigger than this, really. And, you know, they're gonna fly everywhere. Which is not great. I guess we could just put them back in the same hole. But we gotta do something with this. I'm, I'm trying to... Well, maybe we can put it in the in the pan? I don't think we can put it in the pan, though. We can try. I don't think it's a thing we can really do. We actually can put them in the pan. Problem is... First of all, the pan's gonna fly away like crazy. The problem is... Um, it, it's this. You know, we can throw one of these out. Actually, might be able to make it land into the pan. Lands over here, huh? Problem is, like, we have one of these, and we can just, like, like drain it, and it disappears, that's good. Problem is, it's gonna be, like, such a long process. Can we get one to drop into the pan? Interesting, so maybe we could actually... If we place the pan in the right spot, maybe we can just unload them all into the pan and they will disappear? No, it doesn't really work. We can get one of them into the pan. But then the other ones just keep on getting stacked, which is like not ideal. Um, yeah, like this is bad. I don't know why I keep doing this. We we really don't want this to happen. Uh, meanwhile, we we could try unloading them onto a. We could make a grinder system that grinds them out and unloads them onto our existing thing. But the problem is we have to like like harvest a bit, then go all the way to our current existing harvesting area. And then we'd have to just like un, un like throw them out, same time. So I think like this is actually not good for us. I was like, I understand the excavator is supposed to be used to like get dirt and mass, and it's supposed to be like a big old shovel, right? It's not supposed to destroy dirt. It's not supposed to be the pickaxe, but that's not what I'm looking for in an item right now. It's actually not. So I think I might have to use the pickaxe instead. Alright, you know what? I might actually be wrong. I figured the truck stopped working because it got full. But it actually seems to be working still. I think it stopped working because I was messing around with the drill too much. So actually, we totally can do this. The solution is just like don't throw stuff out. By the way, what the hell is this? What have I found here? In the darkness. Oh, <gasps> It is a Frost Spring Seed Bag? Okay. I thought these weren't available in older saves. Interesting. So we can actually plant plants with this? I we gotta totally do that. That's awesome. We're gonna make our little uh, smithing here look a bit nicer. Yeah. I'll place it over here. That's a good spot. I like it. Right, so find a cool solution for this. If you hold it and hold E to extend it, it actually will pick up any soil that you encounter. So you can totally just do this. Find any soil and drain it out. 
It doesn't matter the size, it can pick up any soul item. So this actually is a valid way to empty out um, your truck. But again, we don't have to empty out the truck. I was under the impression that we had to empty out the truck because I thought it stopped working, but it stopped working because I had to like raise and uh, lower the, uh, the drill again. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we actually took care of this. I like that. I'm a big old fan of that. So we gotta get back into this monstrosity. We're kind of looking low on fuel. Does that actually accurately reflect the amount of fuel we have? I'm not sure. I can't really tell. I mean, I think it does because, like, we literally cannot turn it on now. So <laughs> I think we gotta go refuel. That's okay. No problem. We just gotta find a bucket. So after mining with the excavator for a bit, I have come to the conclusion that it is not very good. I think it's actually kind of quite bad. It's good if you want to draw lines in your ground. It works brilliantly for that. But if we actually want to go like mine deep, it's unusable mostly. There's a couple of issues I found with it. The first issue is it's the the you can only move the excavator thing up and down. And your wheels are actually wider, so the only way to mine something is to like mine a bit, then reverse, turn, mine a bit again, and just like you can keep going back and forth, that's okay. But again, that doesn't really work for mining downwards, it works well for mining lines and for like mining walls, but it does not work for mining downwards at all. Like if we had a flat hole over here and we wanted to dig out a hole, like a tunnel, it will work fine for that. But it's not really working for this. The other problem is it keeps flipping out. Like, um, it's like, it, it keeps, it, it either gets stuck. So because the, like, the dirt gets, like, over here, the wheels are actually in the air. Or it just, you know, starts flying out. And I have to reset it all the way back there and then go over here. The third problem is it eats so much fuel. It only uses water for fuel, which is fine. But it uses so much of it that I think I've spent more time refueling. Then I've actually spent things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go try and find my trusty pickaxe. And I'm gonna just mine this manually. I believe it's going to be much, much faster. Not just faster than doing it with a machine. But I think it's going to actually be much, much faster. The problem is I think I lost my pickaxe. I have no clue where it actually is. Oh, it's right over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna try mining it faster just a bit. I think I'm probably gonna do this, you know, like between videos. And we're gonna... I mean, I don't know, man, <laughs> it's slow as well, but at least it's controllable, you know, like this is something that can totally like be controlled and doesn't use any fuel and it doesn't fly out all the time. I don't know, like I'm, I'm losing faith. It's actually, <laughs> I think both are kind of bad. I think both options are kind of bad. I don't think we have a good solution for what I want to do here. Oh, no. Like, I wanted to dig out the hole here. I don't think that's gonna be doable at all in this century. I mean, it's gonna take me, like, a couple of hours for sure to just, like, mine this all bit by bit. But I do still think mining manually is actually faster than mining with the excavator, which is very weird. I don't think that should be the case. I think mining with the, with the excavator should be the superior option every time. But unfortunately, I don't think it is, that is the case right now. I think it's actually... I think it's actually much slower mining with the machine. It's slower than, I think it's slower than this. No joke, I think it's slower than this. But yeah, I'm gonna just end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Honey Games. Now, see you next time.